Hello Taurus, I'm Susie from The Gift Hero 2 and I am here to read your cards for the week of the 15th of November. So I'm going to go ahead and ask the Angel Spirits Universe, what are the energies for Taurus for the week of the 15th of November? What are the energies for Taurus for the week of the 15th of November for Taurus, 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 Taurus. Okay, so we've got one that's just flown all the way across the room. Okay. Oh, look, the Emperor with the Eight of Wands. Angel, Spirit Guides, Universe, what would you like Taurus to know? What would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 15th of November for Taurus? Taurus, 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 for the week of the 15th of November for Taurus, please. Taurus, the week of the 15th of November for Taurus. One more for Taurus for the week of the 15th of November for Taurus. This seems to come out. Page of Swords. Okay, the Emperor with the Eight of Wands. Ooh. Emperors are like, they have got the Nine of Cups, the Wish card on the bottom of the deck. We've got like, the Emperor's the Twin Flame. He embodies all the kings. Very masculine energy, Aries energy. Uh, fiery, Mars. Um, he's... It could be you, you're a leader, it could be your boss, your father figure, um, your your twin flame coming towards you, swift communication, swift arrows of love, um, wants to travel, uh, you're riding the crest of a wave, it's a clear stretch of fruitful activity and lots of communication, so you could be having lots of communication with a father figure, a lover or a boss, um, or you could they could be travelling towards you. Uh, you feel like a leader this week. You could be selling things bought, uh, online, um, but someone's untrapping themselves from a third party situation. Trying to, to, they're walking away from something they know that they're trapped in, um, and they're allowing this reciprocal giving. Okay, someone's going to be charitable towards you. You're charitable towards them. Um, this allows messages of love to come towards you and offers so that everyone can heal and all all the the mummies are coming out of this these three mummies are coming up to be judged okay it's judgment day there's a healing here someone's offering you healing someone's offering you um equal charity Someone could give you some money. Someone's coming. Someone wants to go with you somewhere. But first of all, you've got to untrap yourself from this overwhelming worry that you're making yourself trapped in. It's usually keeping one person from finding out about the other. And I think that's what you're walking away from. And someone you're being charitable towards maybe this Knight of Cups and they're coming towards you with this love. It's like two people coming towards each other so that things can come out of the closet, be healed, and um, it, it's like a karmic um, ending. It's sort of, nobody's perfect, if you like. No one's perfect. So you may have to sacrifice something, see something from a different perspective. Uh, I've got these two kings here. One is wants to offer this love. One is coming to give guidance and counselling. Um, he's knowledgeable. He's intuitive. He could even play the guitar. He could sing. But he wants to offer some counselling toward you, Taurus. The King of Wands here wants to create, wants to be the leader. Um, and the Page of Swords at the end is coming in to tell you something that one of these people have been spying on you. <laughs> or both of them. So you might take some time out. Some, there's just lots of communication. There's Emperors here. So it's something to do with leadership. And someone, and maybe going away with somebody so that you could 
some because someone's being tra charitable towards you they're helping you and that allows the love in and allows this judgment to take place You may have to sacrifice yourself. You may have to see things from a different perspective. You may have to have a time out after this message from this Knight of Cups so that you can heal. The King of Cups wants to help you heal. The King of Wands is uh, wanting to take action and leadership. Uh, the Page of Swords, uh, the outcome is don't allow, listen to any gossip. Um, someone might say they know it all, this Gemini. And um, don't gossip, don't listen to gossip. People are talking about you, about these two kings. Very masculine energy all week. So you've got the emperor, the knight of cups, the king of wands, the king of cups. So sometimes when you get those suits, the, the emperor might demote himself to the king of wands. And the Knight of Cups, who's a younger energy, might upgrade themselves to the King of Wands. These two people, there might be an older person, a younger person communicating with you. One of them you need, you're going to get reciprocation from. Um, you're going to take some time out to maybe decide which one is, is, is the one to choose or one to go with. And... You might find out that this emotional person is the same age or mentally as the the boss or the the king of the emperor because there might be you might be revering someone older but actually this knight of cups um wants to give more and can give more emotionally um Yes, the emperor's a leader. Yes, he's fiery. Yes, he's passionate. But this knight of cups who quickly turns into the... You might find out that this younger energy is more... Is acting older than the emperor, if you know what I mean. I don't know. It's just that I see these two energies. So it's fire and water. And they both cancel each other out. But they make steam, which is air, which is the page of swords. So... One of these, it's like, there's communication, lots of communication. And all this stuff's coming out of the closet. Someone's untrapping themselves from a third party situation. Um, the, and they're both trying to meet you on the same level as a king. But together, if you don't make a choice, it's just air, it's just say, it's just hearsay. It's just nothing comes to fruition. That's what I'm feeling. So you take time out, Taurus. Uh, some, whoever's offering you uh, the money or the charitable or the, the counselling, I think will be surprising because there are a lot. The emperor denotes, demotes himself. The twin flame what you think is the twin flame comes down to the king of wands and what you the other emotional person comes up to the king of cups so that but it's a very difficult choice uh, but someone's spying on this situation You may have to take time out to think about it. You're sacrificing one of these people for a hopeful wish. <gasps> Look, I've got the two of cups on the bottom. Twin flame is coming in. That's what I'm going to say. Twin flame's coming in. To take leadership. To, to give love. You're going to have to see something. You're going to have to wait for something and see it from a different perspective. Um, you might be choosing between two p two kings, um, but a younger energy will upgrade himself to the same as this twin flame. It's like action. It's like a job and passion at the same time. You could be in love with a boss. 
and people are talking about it. Yes. Oh, I'm shuffling the angel cards. Hold on. Angel spirit guys, what would you like Taurus to know? Taurus, Taurus, for the week of the 15th of November. Week of the 15th of November. Angel spirit guys, what would you like Taurus to know? What like Taurus to know for the week of the 15th of November? Week of the 15th for Taurus, 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 Taurus. Week of the 15th for Taurus. Angel spirit guides universe. Week of the 15th of November for Taurus. What would the angels and spirit guides like Taurus to know? <laughs> Here we go. All right. Divine order. <laughs> Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Communication. Now is the time to learn, study and gather information. Enjoy being a student because there, in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Angel therapy. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. As you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. And have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. <sighs> Someone wants to reciprocate love. They want to tell you they've untrapped themselves from a situation. Um, they want to offer love. And this allows all the skeletons to come out of the closet. You might have to wait a little while for this Knight of Cups to turn into the King of Cups. But there's it, you're honouring a heart. Someone's honouring their emotions. Someone's bringing love. Someone is also bringing leadership and creativity. But at the end of the week... You could be told something by this page who's been spying that gives you more information about who to choose, maybe. And that, but I see this, it could be there's creation here, there's stimulation of creation and communication and swift arrows of love, and you might be with a boss or something like that, with someone at work. It could be someone at work, but hold hold tight, hold back, because um, I, don't, I think you're going to find out that the more you go with your heart, the better it is. And someone's going to be spying on the situation. You might find out more. It's saying be patient. Angel spirit guides, what would you like Taurus to know? What would you like Taurus to know? Angel spirit guides, human guides, what would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 15th? Week of the 15th of November. The week of the 15th for Taurus. What are the angels for Taurus? Week of the 15th of November for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, you sort of release and everything's coming out of the closet. People are being judged. Everyone's got to be judged at the end of the day. No one's perfect. So you're taking your time out to, to see this love that's coming towards you. Angels, maybe they've, they're, they're untrapping themselves from a third party or you are. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Taurus to know at the week of the 15th. Week of the 15th. 15th. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Decide what you want, Taurus. There's something coming. It's got divine order. It's honouring your heart. It's got leadership. There's... You've got to be patient. You're going to be making a choice at the end of this week, I think, because you'll have more information. There's something very soon, and it could be that, the, that it could be an engagement that you hear about. 
Um, but you're learning that nobody's perfect, so you're forgiving. And you're learning that maybe you need to follow your heart. You've got to be patient. And there's something else up there for you which is divine. Divinely guided. This is a difficult one, Taurus, but it's not bad. It's not a bad dilemma. Okay, um, take care of yourself. I'll speak to you soon. And please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.